A lifetime ago I used to work in the BT Measurement and Analysis Centre which was a computerised call sender. It would send out telephone calls to the exchanges <coughs> to specific equipment and um, this equipment should answer the call with the uh, tones to let it know that the call was successful. It would plot all the results of these calls and give statistics to management, that kind of thing. And our job was to look after this system. Um, in the exchanges was a printer and um, I managed to save BT a few bob by uh, repairing these printers when they went wrong. Um, but there were some that were just beyond it and naturally we uh, started taking them apart. Inside we found three boards. The centre board is a very kind of general purpose uh, 6802 microprocessor board. There was a 6802 there. Uh, it's got three PIAs. It's got 1K of RAM and it's got two um, 2K JDEC sockets uh, so you can put in there 2716s, 2732s and um, we thought maybe we could make a little development system out of this. So <clears throat> what we did, me and my mate Steve, um, we added onto one of the PIO ports we added a uh, hex keyboard and a calculator display. Uh, it only actually shows two digits this. What we did, uh, we took a 2716 EEPROM and in, we divided it in half um, with a one of the top address lines and we put the pattern for a seven segment display in one half and the pattern for another seven segment display in the other half and we had a little 555 that oscillated between the two halves at the same time as enabling the left or right digit so it gave a, a two digit display uh, in hex and uh, I wrote a little monitor for it uh, see this 6802 mon for this is about 1978 I'm guessing something like that and uh, the monitor was all handwritten, uh, all hand coded in, ma in machine code. Uh, see it all here. There's a keyboard layout there in it and pass. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, output, display, memory, some of the bits and bobs. Don't know half of this. Oh, RTTY output. Anyway, a hand assembled monitor and um, with this recent interest in retro computing what I've done is I've uh, disassembled the old monitor that was done by hand, uh, reconstructed the assembler and um, made up this little 6802 board which is hardware wise exactly the same thing uh, but much neater and uh, it's it has a, a, a really simple monitor. Let me just zoom in. Not too far. There we go. Right. You switch on. It says 1C, but the way you have to read that is input command. It's waiting for a command. And on the bottom of the keyboard, um, we've got not 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. So it's a hex keyboard. And on the bottom keys, we've got display modify, go to and load. So if I display memory um, the monitor program is at E1000 it's an 8k e, uh, e prom so it's at E1000 so if I go display it says 1a which you have to read as input address so it's an input command I said display it now says input address and the address is E000 and 8670977A. These are the commands in the monitor, the sort of um, first few commands in the monitor. Reset. Um, if I do modify, it says input address 0000, and I can put in there 11. Next address is 01, 22. Next address is 03. Sorry, 02. <laughs> So well, let me put something different in there. Uh, 44. Four. Address 355. Five. Address 466. Six. Address 577. Seven. And so on. If we go to display input address 0000, which is where we just put all that stuff in, you can just step through what we just entered. So you can enter stuff into memory. 
you can load um, Motorola format S records straight to memory and you can do a go to so if I do a go to and say F O O O which is where this little game is um, if we see this if we draw an arts and crosses thing with one two three four five six seven eight nine and I say right I'm gonna go five so I went five it's gone to number one I will go uh, seven it's gone three uh, I will go two and it's gone eight I will go um, where will I go? I will go four and it's gone six and that's checkmate isn't it? Ah! Damn machine Anyway, there you go, that's the uh, one, two, three, that's the fourth in the line of uh, retro computing projects. Uh, quite enjoyed doing this one. <laughs> Cheers.